Africa put a smile each day. Positive for my mindset, don't oh, no. Put this smile on somebody's face in my own little way. And I go dead there for you, my brother. No need to feel alone. Go dead there for one another. But this is Johnny will be dead. You don't say I'll be here, I'll be here, I'll be here for you. And I go dead there for you, my sister. You no need to shake. We go dead there for one another. For this is Johnny will be dead. I'll be there for you. We are a family, always there for one another. Join us. D Star, raising role models. Good morning, good afternoon, and a beautiful evening to you from wherever you may be watching us from across the globe. This is Daystar Christian Center, where we raise role models. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Lagos, Nigeria, and we are excited and more than happy to have you worship with us today. It's been 27 years of God's grace, God's amazing faithfulness over this house, and I can categorically say that I am a changed life. Being a member of Daystar, star being a member of this house has made me a changed life so we're gonna be having a day star celebration in service today we're still discussing the influenza and i feel like a lot of christians despite being called the light of the world and the salt of the earth do not exactly live up to these expectations and i feel like the reason is because they don't know who they are in Christ. They don't know what they carry. They don't know the amazing things that comes with being a child of God. So I am here to tell you this Sunday morning to be the light that you are. Be the salt of the earth that you are. Let the world feel your light and feel the sweetness. The sweetness of God in your life. Make sure that they see it, okay? We'll be going into service right now, but we would like to say a word of prayer. Join me. Our Heavenly Father, we have come to say thank you for such an amazing time as this. We pray in the name of Jesus that as we go into service, your grace, your mercy, and your love would abide with us in the name of Jesus. We pray that you'd help us to be the light. You'd help us to shine, shine bright, and the world would know who we are. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. If you're in the physical auditorium, let's rise as we worship. and say happy anniversary <laughs> 27 years hallelujah come on let's give the praise oh you can do better than that you can do better than that i'm sure you can count more than 27 testimonies that you have received yeah 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 <laughs> hallelujah we celebrate our god they start celebrate you they start celebrate you Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, we say thank you. Let's go. Makateli adabasai. Oh, rabakateli balote kamanda. Shetetete yadadada. Yes, Lord. Yeah. You've done so much for us. Ay, ay, ay. We cannot tell it all. We say Ten thousand tongues, this still won't be enough, yeah. Oh Lord, you have done so much for Daystar, we cannot tell you.
a joyful noise unto the Lord for his mercies that endures forever for his grace has found us for all the good things the Lord has done come on lift up your voices and make a joyful noise hallelujah just wave your hands to him and say thank you father thank you father thank you for your mercy thank you for your love thank you for your compassion Thank you for all the things that you have done. In this the Christian center, we give a praise. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19. We're going to be giving thanks concerning this the Christian center. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19. We have also a sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in, dark, in a dark place until the day dawn and day star arises in your heart. Let us give thanks to God for the sure word of prophecy to us here in Daystar Christian Center. And let us begin to appreciate God for the 27 years of grace. Can you lift up your voices and just begin to appreciate God over Daystar Christian Center for the wonderful things that the Lord has done in Daystar. If God has blessed you to, through this ministry, can you lift up your voices to heaven and just say, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for the grace over the past 27 years. It has been awesome. God has been faithful. Lord, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Father, we thank you. Concerning the Easter Christian Center, we thank you. For every one of us here, role model indeed, Father, we thank you. We thank you because our path shines from, bright, from glory to glory. Shine brighter and brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord? Amen. Are you excited to know that this is 27th year of Daystar Christian Center? Come on, come on, you can do that better. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you welcome the person to your right, to your left, as you take your seat? Oh, tell the person, I'm glad, I'm excited you are in the service today. Praise the Lord. And to those people joining us, we want to say a very big thank you for joining us today. And to every one of us here, we want to celebrate the grace of God. We welcome you to a season of divine encounter. Amen. It's a season of grace. It's a season where grace is being multiplied. Those of us joining us online, we celebrate you also. I believe that God is already ready to do something wonderful in your life. God will take you to your place of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is Daystar, the home of stars and mega stars. We have an assignment from God, and that assignment is raising role model. Role model will mean people that their life has been touched, and other people we want to be like. Praise God. And we have this show word from God that is fellowship with us consistently for the next three months. 
listen to the teaching that proceed from this altar and you identify with our training system we have the show word that god will bless you and god will take you to a place of glory above all join also our small groups small groups we have data online community those for those of us outside the country and if you are here in nigeria lagos especially we have the small groups physically you can identify with that god will definitely take your place of glory in jesus name if today is your first time online and you are joining us we celebrate you please church can we help me appreciate all the online um church amen all right if today is your first time joining us we celebrate you we are celebrating our 27th anniversary here in daystar praise god and then it's the best time for you to join us today please we want to keep this relationship going all you need to do is to go to our chat room right away the link is being sent there click on the link and drop your information uh, we will send some resource materials to you that will help you grow more in faith if you are watching us on our main platform life.daystarng.org all you need to do is just to sign up with us and then click on the sign up button drop your information also and god will definitely bless you in jesus name amen all right if you are here in on, on site and today is your first time we want to quickly celebrate you today's your first time here in daystar can you just wave up your wave your hands quickly wow praise god amen just to do us a big favor please can you stand can you stand we want to celebrate you if today is your first time, can you stand? We want to hand over a welcome pack. Praise God. Church, we can please put your hands together. Yes, I can see some people standing there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. All right, our officials are handing over a welcome pack to you for joining us. We say thank you, and God will bless you. Please, the welcome pack given to you, check there. There is a guest information card. Kindly fish it out and drop your information there also. When you finish filling, you can drop it on your seat, or you hand it over to our ushers. God will definitely take your place of glory. He will take you to the place of honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, they, they still usually have uh, services. This is our fourth service here in Daystar. We have three services here uh, and seven o'clock, nine o'clock, and eleven o'clock, the third service. And then you can join us any of the services. We also have satellite churches there in Leki, in Kurudu, in Alimosho, and in Badagri. You can also join. Six o'clock on Wednesday, also, we have a time of um, prayers, a time of listening to undiluted word of God. But this one is done virtually, so you can also join that also god will bless you more in jesus mighty name praise the lord all right um let's before i take the testimonies we have loads and loads of testimonies here uh please want to remind all the singles in the house they start singles to be having a program it's an opportunity to show gratitude to god opportunity to show gratitude to god this will be coming up this saturday time is 4 p um, so all the singles in the house come together let's rejoice and let us appreciate god for his message praise the lord all right the testimonies have been sent in throughout this week from the throughout the week weekend we have been having loads and loads and loads of testimonies if you have testimonies please send your testimonies in to to testimonies at daystarng.org or you can go to your social media platform share your testimonies there and send hashtag daystar praise god or at daystar um ng praise the lord all right this one is sent in from dr ayo Adeyemi. the title god has been faithful praise god he said i found grace i found purpose i found direction and blessings at daystar christian center i started attending in 1999 did membership class from 20 2001 to 2003 to 400 level i joined the choir in 2002 got baptized in 2003 then started serving in the small groups and as a cell leader from 2003 then i got married in 2006 hallelujah he said i dedicate my son dedicated my son here at daystar christian center i joined dla faculty in 2020 then since i've been a member of daystar up till 2022 praise the lord he said there have been many blessings and goodness of god too numerous to count since I joined this Star Christian Center. Indeed, God has been wholesome and fantastic. Happy anniversary. Can we put our hands together for that? Another one from Shomefu Kendi Adeliki says, I got to know this Star from Success Power on the radio, and I became a foundation member from the Chinese restaurant at Ekeja. Now, I am married with a lovely wife, 
with three healthy children. We are now 16 years into marriage, though the doctor's report said that I am single cell, that is SS. I'm a single cell patient. Said, I also believe God in I also believe in God's report by listening to Pastor Sam's at Adiemi's message. Today, 17th of November 2020, 22, I am I clocked 47 years old. And I'm still standing strong. The word works wonders at Daystar. I believe you can do that clap very well, very well, very well. All right, I have another one from Olumide Olaoye. So I joined Daystar during my NYSE year in 20, 2009 to 2010. I served in Ota, Ogun State, but I always visit I always visit Lagos fortnightly to see my brother and hunt for a job. In the process, I joined Daystar, and my life has never remained the same. I discovered my essence of uh, essence through Daystar's teaching and training system. I got a clear direction for my life through divine leading here in Daystar. I had a clear career path. I got married in Daystar. I was blessed with two exceptional children and discovered, developed, maximized my leadership potential. My family and I have never been a better yesterday. I've never had a better yesterday since joining Daystar. Every day and every year has been a plus on the previous. Thank you, Pastor Sam, for heeding God's call. Happy 27th anniversary here at Daystar. Praise God. I'll read this last one quickly. This one is sent in by Bamike Fadikbe. It says, I can't write the story of my life without the significant part of who I became from my encounter in Daystar. First, I started as a church member and then as a staff member. Transi transitioning from, decks, um, from front decks to the bidding HR department which I now do today. I cut, I cut my, teach, uh, my teeth professionally at Daystar. The training, investment, and access to great men and women all improved my life. Praise the Lord. He said, my entrepreneurial journey started in Daystar. Countless tapes, messages, books, like parables of dollar, um, dollars, and even more. Today, I look back at my many blessings, doors, relationships, opportunities I have I've had because of my connection with Desta. The vision of raising role models has long been global. A movement began than, bigger than a church in a location. Desta in my heart, in my life, lifestyles have evolved into many expressions in the marketplace the continent and spheres of influence and is keeping involving. My utmost regard to Dr. Sam and Nikki Adiemi. We thank God for yielding to God's blessing. Praise the Lord. These are wonderful, wonderful testimonies. I believe next week we are going to read your own testimonies. If you believe that, shout a bigger amen. Are you ready for God's word? Just bow down your heads and ask God. One word is enough to turn your situation around. Ask God, breathe your word over me today. Father, we thank you for the word. We ask, Lord, let someone experience supernatural touch. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's welcome our senior pastor. Hello, Daystar. Good morning. Well, for those watching, from around the world, it could be afternoon or whatever time in your region, but today is a great day. Um, it's an exciting day. It's been an amazing week because what? On Friday, the 18th of November, day start turned 27 years. 27 whole years and we are grateful to God. I'm excited, I know you are too. And we give God all the glory, <laughs> all praise, and all adoration. The God of our beginning, the God of our end, Alpha and Omega, 
the Lord who gave the vision, who gave the commission, has been with us and is still with us. So, Father, we say thank you once again. We adore you and we worship you. Hallelujah. The vision of Daystar has gone from glory to glory, from strength to strength. And I really want to celebrate and, you know, congratulate and thank every member of Daystar through the years, old and new. We maybe just became a member today or last week. And those who are there with us, even right from inception, we thank God for the vision. We thank God for um, I, their husband, our senior pastor, you know, receiving the vision, running with it. And for all pastors and leaders currently and through the years who have joined us to support this vision and to make it a reality, it's been an amazing work. It's been an amazing team. Desta has come of age. We can see that um, God himself is the foundation of this ministry. And um, without us physically there at this time or not, the work continues to grow because it is his. The Bible says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That is a reality in Desta and that is a reality in all of your lives. So thank you for being part of this vision. Thank you for all workers. Thank you for everyone that has served and continues to serve. We thank God for all of you and for the beneficiaries to those who have been touched by this ministry in one way or the other. We thank God for you. I am also a changed life. Been there from the beginning or before the beginning. And um, we're just grateful to God. It's really humbling to be used and to have been entrusted with um, a work like this. So 27 years after, what are we saying? We have come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. No other than that, to express our gratitude. Uh, many have said this is uncommon, this is unusual, but it, it is God. If it's God, it will be supernatural. It's not anyone's had a human idea. When God gives you a revelation and you run with it, it will come to pass. It will manifest what it is supposed to manifest. So we thank God. The great vision and the word day star was taken from the book of Second Peter chapter 1 verse 19. And I will back up to verse 17. It says, For he received from God the Father honor and glory, when a voice came to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And we heard his voice which came from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. If you have heard anything from God, hold on because it will come to pass. If you have heard anything from God, if you have heard God speak to you, if you have received a revelation in your heart of what you are to fulfill, of who you are even, and what purpose or assignment you are to fulfill, it will come to pass. You have, no, you are not the one to bring it to pass. He is the one to bring it to pass. And verse 19 says, we have, so we have the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to take heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star arises in your heart. Or another translation says the day star arises in your heart. So that is where the word and the name day star came from. It says you will do well as a light that shines in a dark place. Day star, you are light that shines in a dark place. You are light. You are light. And we have been reading Matthew, looking at Matthew chapter 5 from verse 12 to 14. It says, you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. It's time to come out of hiding if you are still hiding. Do we understand the assignment? We're raising role models. We are helping people to discover their potentials, their callings, and to fulfill it and to run with it. Just like we are running with ours, 
a senior pastor, Pastor Sam is running with what the Lord is showing him, Daystar and beyond Daystar. Amen. And so, because we are light, it has become a popular saying of mine because I received this one day, just that just came into my heart. And it was sometime last year or so, and I've been saying that light needs no introduction. Light needs no introduction. Show up, Daystar. And we have been showing up. Daystar has been showing up in amazing ways during the COVID two years ago, two and a half years ago, which we are really now just coming out of it fully <laughs> by the grace of God. Daystar showed up. And when we say Daystar showed up, you showed up. Members of this commission, of this church, of this local and global assembly, showed up in love, showed up for your neighbors, showed up for one another. We showed up in people's lives. We showed up in the midst of the darkness. This is our assignment. This is our commission as believers, as believers. So the message translation of um, Matthew chapter 5 says, let me tell you why you are here. 5.13. You are here to be salt, seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. The God flavors, the good side, the beautiful side of this earth. It's as if you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? And verse 14, there's another way to put it. You are here to be light, bringing out God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. Friends, it would be selfish for us to keep to ourselves what we know about God, what we have tasted of him, what we know of him. He's a good God. And the reality that Christ is our light, Christ did lay down his life for us, for everyone, for the entire world. And those who care to believe receive eternal life. It is a reality. And until it's a reality in our hearts, we're not likely to shine and reflect him as we should or let people know about him. He is not a secret to be kept. He says, we are going public with this, public as a city on a hill. I cannot stay in one corner. Look, our assignments are different. When you know what God wants you to walk in part time, the measure of light, the measure of understanding, you take it, you run with it. Then he begins to enlarge it. He begins to enlarge it. He usually doesn't just put the whole thing on us at once. 27 years ago, we were not even having this number of people worshiping with us. We were not this. Of course, we were just a tiny seed. And look at us. Did we think we would do it alone? And so that's it. The vision is growing. And may none of us be a stumbling block to it. May you not even be a stumbling block in the vision that God has given to you. And that's it. So we are light. One thing about light is you cannot determine, um, you can't hold light. You can't curb light. And you cannot just put light out like that. You're not to cover it. You're to let light shine. That's why it says, let your light shine. Don't dim it. Let it shine bright. Let it go very far. This star has gone far and we are going further. And who is this star? It's you and I. The church is not a building. No church is a building. The building is, provides a space and place for us to sit, to gather, and have fellowship together. But he says, where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. So we are the called out ones, Ecclesia. He says, come out from among them. But he says, be light in a dark world. How is it? There's a balance and there's truth to it. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 says. And the glory of the Lord has arisen upon you. It says, darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people. What do we see today? We see gross darkness. There is thick darkness everywhere. It's thick. 
We cannot hide our light. We cannot hide the light that we are. So we have to grow with revelation and let our light shine brighter and brighter and brighter. There's much work. There's deliverance needed. There's hope needed to be given to the weary. There are solutions that are in you that need to be supplied in our world. Everyone has the assignment and things God is giving and God is adding to our assignments and is adding to your assignment. If it's not added to yours, look at what you've done with what he's given you already. As we're faithfully with it, God puts more on us. He helps us to take more territories for him. Hello. Hallelujah. So that's just my little word of encouragement. Shine bright. I can't even begin to talk about stories and things that have happened even just even in the last two years. I think it was just, um, just even last week, as early as a few days ago, I just came back from a country of the Netherlands and visited a few cities there, there did some work there. But before I left, I decided to visit Amsterdam. I didn't have any speaking engagement in Amsterdam, but I decided to go to Amsterdam for one day, not even a full day, just a few hours just to see, of course, to relax, play, and to see Amsterdam, other than the airport. And I wanted to go to the city center and see the red light district that has become something else. Darkness, too, is trying to be global. And it is what I saw. I can't even begin to talk about the things that I saw. Um, a museum, there is a museum of prostitution, a museum, yes, real life, there, it's all there, legalized, it's all, and uh, yeah, you can't begin to judge these things, but it's really dark out there, so friends, take your light, shine, bring people to Christ, let him see the love of God. Let them see their solutions. Um, God is giving many witty inventions for these end times. We thank God for technology. We thank God for entertainment. We thank God for education. We thank God for all these are part of the church. The church is infiltrating all the mountains of influence. Hallelujah. And it is exciting. It's exciting for me to preach even to people that don't look like me, to share the word, to be part of even business meetings, to make a difference, to just shine our light. Don't think that you are too small to make a difference wherever God has put you or allowed you to be. Right from your very home, right from your child's school, right from that industry, Right from that association, right from that team that you are a part of, let your light shine. Friends, it's a new day for Daystar as we start and step into the 28th year. I pray that God's love will be strengthened in us. God's power, God's courage, um, all the values in Christ will be made manifest in us will be evident in us and we will have joy that no man can take away from us. Joy everlasting. No matter what you're going through, I declare on this day of gratitude that every hand of the enemy in your life is lifted in the name of Jesus. I declare the favor of God rests upon you in a new and unusual way, that in the name of Jesus, you move forward, you make progress, you see your dreams manifest, you evolve, you dominate the economies of this world, you dominate darkness because light shines and darkness cannot comprehend it. I declare that in this season, your health springs forth, your mental health, your, your physical health. I declare that you and God are one. And there is no devil out there 
that can handle you. I declare peace over you and your families, over the children, over homes. I declare unity. I declare love. I declare his power and I declare his reckless love would manifest through us even to those who do not know him. So this star, stay blessed and happy anniversary once again. God bless you. I invite my sweetheart to take the next part of the word at this time. Hallelujah. Someone wants to celebrate Jesus with me. Celebrate Christ. Celebrate his love. Thank you very much, Pastor Nick, my sweetheart. <laughs> my left ventricle. Eh? Honestly, as she was speaking, I was just reflecting back on when we started. Because we started with the prayer meetings in our, hmm, in our living room, in the three-bedroom flat, Okay. And I remember the day she went to buy chairs, plastic chairs, for the first time. She took the car, went to buy. Oh, thank you. It's been an amazing journey, right? Love you with all my heart. I appreciate you for all the support, all the hard work, man, and all the boardroom, sorry, bedroom meetings. <laughs> <laughs> well done, to you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. All right, so we are celebrating this star's anniversary, right? To all role models and mega stars worldwide, right? It's a worldwide celebration. And I should say once again, we are celebrating God. That's it. N not anybody's human achievement. Yes, <laughs> we've worked hard. But it was just so that the grace of God would not be wasted. Absolutely God's grace. So we are celebrating God. And today, of course, we share our stories to inspire ourselves. Uh, you know, especially because we know so many of us joined in the last two, three years. Right? We need to tell our stories so that we know where we're coming from and track where we're going. Right? Now, the question I usually ask is, how do you respond to adversity? And thinking about how this that started reminds me of that. How do you respond to adversity? My classic biblical example is Joseph, right? The young man who was harassed by his brothers. And I want to believe that he prayed because the Bible says, and Joseph dreamed a dream. I believe that is the best way to respond to adversity, to leverage that equipment that God has given every single one of us. It's called the imagination. There we do image formation and miracles happen. The young man that was being harassed <laughs> rose up to become a powerful person in this world, in the dream. When he shared the dream, the Bible says that his brothers hated him more. What did he do? And Joseph dreamed another dream. It was a bigger one. That's the best way to respond to adversity. So early 1994, I experienced some disappointments, okay? And they had to do with international travel, visa refusal here and there. <laughs> we, we even were on a flight to Côte d'Ivoire, landed at the airport, did not even go through immigration for them to start my passport that I even landed in Côte d'Ivoire and had to get on the same plane back to Lagos. All that was happening early 94. So the Monday after Easter, I said to Pastor Nick, I said, we need to pray. Let's go to Lekki Beach. We went to Lekki Beach, <laughs> you know, in Lagos, and we're praying all day, fasting and praying. I was asking God, all the roads cannot be blocked. <laughs> what is next? And he said to continue the prayer, okay? And I stopped the fasting after 11 days or so. And it was July 1994 that the revelation came. I was praying in the morning and it came. And God said, I am moving you to the next level through your teaching gift. And you will go on radio and TV and seminars 
conferences, you know, and through books and tapes. Tapes. That was the digital, <laughs> you know, product that we had then. And he said, you will teach people success principles. And then he said, you will not be able to do that where you are now because I was branch pastor at another church. He said, you will need to move out, set up a church where you will help people to discover and to maximize their potentials. In the process, they will become examples to others in the society. One revelation, two powerful platforms. So, uh, October 94, I started working towards going on radio. February 8, 1995, we launched on uh, Ray Power. It was called then the program Success Power. Middle of 95, Pastor Nikkei and I approached a few families. We began to pray together towards the birth of the church path. November 18, 1995, we had the inauguration of Daystar Christian Center. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so, like Pastor Nikkei said, the name of our church is from 2 Peter chapter 1. And verse 19, like she read out. The summary of what we're saying today is this. Day Star Christian Center is not a man's idea. It is a God idea. There is a big difference there. So, going back to that passage that Pastor Nikkei read, if you want the wisdom and the power of God through the ministry of Daystar Christian Center to be released through your life to help you fulfill your destiny. Pay attention to the revelation. Pay attention to the revelation. He said, whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in the dark place till the day dawns and the day star arises in your hearts. Okay? We have the prophetic word made double sure. We heard his voice on the mountain. Pay attention to the revelation. That's the core thing. That's the currency in this Star Christian Center. So don't be surprised that we say the word works wonders at this star. That's it. And you know, the, the funny thing about... This is that Satan knows how powerful revelation is. That's the core resource that God used to create the world. Hebrews 11, 3 says, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things that are seen were not made from things that are visible. Then in the parable of the sower, <laughs> Jesus explained where the different seeds fell. The ones that fell by the wayside. He said, those are people who don't, you know, receive the word of God. He said, and because he said the birds of the air came to take the seeds. He said, that's Satan. That's demons. Whenever anybody receives revelation, he says, Satan comes immediately and steals it. And when he steals the revelation, he stole the manifestation. When he steals the revelation, he stole your money. He stole the future, right? So pay attention to the revelation. Church is full of many distractions. Church is full of many distractions. <laughs> and I say humorously sometimes, even the pastor, sometimes is a distraction. Hmm? Especially in these days when we've so glamorized the pastor's office, people just forget themselves. They even forget if they have the Holy Spirit, right? So pastors... Other church members, mm, big time. Friends, brothers, sisters, choir. <laughs> All right. Keep your focus on the revelation. Amen. Keep your focus on the revelation. Um, in, you remember Joshua chapter 1 verse 8? This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For well, then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have what? Good success. Pay attention to the revelation. I remember in the Gospels, um, I think that's in the book of John, the day Jesus told Peter how he would die, he said, see, when you were a child, you went everywhere the way you wanted. 
He said, there's coming a time when you won't be able to go anywhere the way you want. Somebody else will lead you where you don't want to go. And the Bible wrote there, he was telling Peter how Peter would die. You know, he would, be, he would also be crucified. Peter then turned to the Lord and asked about John. <laughs> he said, Lord, <laughs> how about him? <laughs> and Christ gave a classic answer. He said, why is that your business? <laughs> Leave him. If I want him to live and never die, right? That's my business. Leave him. I like it. I like it. I, I like Jesus telling someone, stop this aproco business. <laughs> What's aproco? <laughs> you know, I call it with accent, aproco. Well, I'm not sure what the real meaning is. I'm just sure it's about you not poking your nose into other people's businesses. Church sometimes can be full of apropos, can be full of gossip. People mind other people's business and they lose sight. Jesus said, Ogapita, face me. <laughs> Let's discuss your business. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm here to say again, Desta, pay attention to the revelation. It has changed people's lives. It has changed our own lives. I have my Desta story. <laughs> I was not looking like this when they start started, right? So in this star, we generate a lot of ideas, but God's idea will always prevail. The last two years have been tough for us in some sense as a church. Yep. Uh, first, because of what the whole world has gone through, and then specifically, you know, the absence of our senior pastors physically. Gratefully, we thank God for technology, like Pastor Nick has said. But then we are absolutely committed to obey God. You know, um, when you're obeying God, sometimes it will be easy, sometimes it won't be. Some people bragged in Jeremiah 42, verse 6. They said to Jeremiah the prophet, whether it is easy or difficult, whether it is good or evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God to whom we're sending you now so that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of God. By the time Jeremiah came with what God told them to do, they did not do it. <laughs> sometimes it is easy to do. Sometimes it's hard. And when you're obeying God, uh, when you have difficult decisions like that, it can make people around you sometimes even confused, you know. Abraham had an instruction from God to sacrifice Isaac. That, that could never be easy. He obeyed God. At the end of the day, he changed levels completely. Christ obeyed God to lay down his life. That could never be easy. It was a confusing moment when he was crucified for his disciples. If Peter denied him, the other disciples ran away. Never easy. Okay? But on the third day, Christ resurrected. And I just wanted to say this stuff. Thank you. Thank you for believing that we are called. Thank you for believing that we hear God. Honestly, what we've done the last two years has purely been based on divine instructions. And the Spirit of God said to me last year, when I was asking, what is all this about? John 12, 24. Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains the way it is. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. So he said, I'm taking you through a death and resurrection experience, right? According to John 24, he said, and you will drag this star with you through that experience. He said, but on the other hand, on the, at the other end, you will come forth with much fruit. And you know what I came to say today? The much fruit season is here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! The much fruit season is here. So those that thought they knew you before will realize now they never knew you. The old you is gone. A new you is here. The old Esther is gone. A new one is here. The old Pastor Sam is gone. A new one is here. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you know, yes, when it's much fruit season, what you put in the soil is not what you get back. It's totally transformed. The creativity of God is unleashed. And then you see something that never existed before. I'm here to prophesy on you today in the name of Jesus Christ 
that the invisible power that enters the seed and grows that tree that never existed before, that produces fruits that never existed before, that invisible power of the Holy Spirit engages you. I speak prophetically by the Spirit of God. That power engages you and transforms your life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you believe that, say a powerful amen. <laughs> what you struggled to achieve before will happen easy now. Mm -hmm. The day Samuel poured oil on Saul's head in 1 Samuel 10, that was what happened. He told them, God has anointed you now as captain over his people. You are a leader now by the anointing. You are an influencer now. He said, the moment you live here, you will meet people that will tell you the donkeys you struggled that you were looking for have been found. I prophesy on you in the mighty name of Jesus as we go into our 28th year as a church. <laughs> what was difficult before has become easy. The days of rejection are over. The you that was rejected is gone. There's a new you now. People will see you and just love you. Even they will not be able to explain it. It is called favor. Your season of mercy is here. God will help you in amazing ways. I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will attract and manage resources that you never attracted and managed before. And you won't struggle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your brain will function in a way it never functioned before. Creativity will be easy for you. Innovation will be easy for you. Influence will be easy for you. Leadership will be easy for you. Bathing new projects, new organizations will be easy for you. Getting married will be easy for you. Having babies will be easy for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Plants don't struggle to grow. Remember that. They're just taking water and nutrient daily. And then... <laughs> They evolve. Things grow out of them. I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus as you maintain your connection with God and you do your daily intake of revelation, things will show forth in your life that will be beautiful, that will make you attractive. This time next year, you will have powerful testimonies to share in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I prophesy that you are anointed afresh as a role model. You will never come behind. You will always be ahead. You will never be beneath. You will always be above in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy that the negative situations, threatening challenges going on in our world right now, they will happen to your advantage. I position you as an anointed solution provider in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And I challenge you under God, bring in more people for God to make role models through the ministry of Daystar Christian Center. I pray for you who are a part of this service today. Hmm. Who says, well, wow, wow, wow. I sense, I sense that I'm supposed to be a part of this movement. I pray for you as you commit to be a part of this awesome movement, awesome thing God is doing. The Spirit of God will come on you and every prophecy that has been pronounced on us before and the ones pronounced today will begin to produce massive results in your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for the person who says, well, I don't even have a personal relationship with God. Can I start from there? Absolutely. If you're that honest person who says my relationship with God is not okay, I want God to forgive me my sins. Can we start from there? I'd like to pray with you. God bless you. Can you put your hand on your heart? You may be at any of our physical locations. You may be attending the service on TV or online. Can you put your hand on your heart? I, I can't lie. I need God to help me. And sin is the biggest problem. Well, Jesus died for the sins already. <laughs> so God wants to forgive us now. Can you say this prayer after me with your hand on your heart? Dear God, I believe that Jesus paid for my sins. I ask you to forgive me and to accept me as your child. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name. 
Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for everyone who said this prayer. We're grateful to you because their sins are forgiven already. Thank you, Heavenly Father. <laughs> thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Father, teach them to know you personally and teach them to love you and to love other people the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name. Congratulations if you just said this prayer. If you are at any of our physical locations, our ushers give you a card. Please fill it with accurate information right away. Just leave the card on your seat when we close the service in a few minutes. We'll pick it as soon as you leave the seat. God bless you. We have very, very, very important information we're going to send to you. If you're part of the service on TV, there's a link, you know, on your screen. Please snap it or copy it. Fill the form there. We'll send what we have to you via email. Same for those of us online. The link is there in the chat room. Uh, please give us your information. We'll send you the information we have. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Has God been good to you through the ministry of Daystar? Let's give Jesus a big, big hand clap. Hallelujah. And thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. All right. Before we go, in Daystar Christian Center, I'll tell you a secret. God's helped us so much in the area of finances. Why? We discovered early, over 20 years ago, we discovered the number one problem of most of the people in our environment, poverty. God gave us the solution. So I'll encourage you, go for the messages, ask for those messages, ask for the books we've written on finances. One thing is important. As God blesses you, what are you going to do with it? God also gave us the capacity to conquer greed. And the key to it is giving, generosity towards God and contributing so we can touch many other lives around the world. It's time for us to give. The information is there on the screen. I'll ask you to not procrastinate. Do it right away. Give. Many day star members have budgeted the percentage of their income. Just go ahead and be generous towards God as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, today, as we celebrate day star's 27th anniversary, we're giving a thanksgiving gift, thanksgiving offering, contribution to the ministry of this church so it can continue and touch many more lives. And as we do, Heavenly Father, we give for our new level, for our next level. And we ask, Father, in Jesus' name, just like the seed that dies and grows into a new level, take our finances to a new dimension altogether. And we receive your divine protection on everyone and our families, peace of mind, safety for our families, not only through this week, but through the next year and beyond. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to close out the service rejoicing as we welcome the best choir in the world, the healing streams of God. Happy anniversary, Lester. Okay, I'm sure you can jump those heads get better. For the God of Daystar. Come on, jump those heads better for the God of Daystar. All we want to do this morning is just give God the praise that he deserves. Do I have anyone who's going to join us? Yes. Don't worry, it's a simple song, and we will be able to bless God together. Come on, let's do this. Thank you for song of the heavy, yes. He heard and listened. In 
in my life. Yes, Lord, you let me here. So you can bless me, Jesus. I give you praise. You get the glory. Take off the honor. I want to say. You get the glory. You get the glory. Jesus, you get the praise. You get the praise. Take all the honor. You get the honor. I want to say.
glory that he deserves. Hallelujah. Are you, if you're grateful to God for 27 years of transforming lives, raising role models, can I hear you shout, thank you, Jesus. I believe it can be better if you truly are grateful to God for 27 years of transforming life. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. I believe we can do better for Jesus. The head of this church, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you also appreciate the alien streams of God for that powerful one as well? God bless you so much. All right, on that beautiful note, we've come to the end of service. Before we go, we'd like to once again acknowledge the presence of those worshiping with us for the first time, both online and on site. We did that early on in the service. In case you were not seated when this was done, we'd like to let you know we love you and you do not take your coming for granted. For those on site, as soon as service is over, please proceed to our information center, which is to your right as you approach the main gate. Our officials will be waiting to hand over a welcome pack to you. Feel free to ask them questions about the church and especially about our home fellowship system. May this week be an amazing week for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those online, our officials would share a link with you. Please do well to visit that link and leave us accurate information about yourself so that we can uh, send you a thank you message as well as a brochure that says a bit about the ministry of this Christian Center. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, as you continue in this week, the God of this commission will show up for you in the name of Jesus. He will bring you much fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. All right, let's end by turning to our neighbor and say happy anniversary. God bless you. Have a fantastic week. Amazing thing about Daystar Christian Center is the fact that it is our joy to see people discover their purpose. It is our joy to see people discover their potentials. And I am very excited because of that. I am happy that I belong to a family and a community where my potentials can be discovered, where my dreams and my aspirations and everything that I want to be is it's been discovered, it's been helped, you know. I get help in discovering all of these things and I'm very excited and I'm thankful, this is very personal to me, and I'm thankful to the leadership of Pastor Sam and Nikki Adiemi for this. And I'm sure that this is the same with you too. I know that you have one or two things to say about this. It's been 27 years of God's amazing goodness. Come on, you have, you have reasons to be grateful. You have testimonies. Your life has changed. And I'm very excited that our lives have changed. And uh, remember that you're the light of the world. You're the salt of the earth. Remember that you can uncover your real essence through revelation. You should also remember not to be scared to make a difference. Come on. We are here to make a difference. We are here to shine our light. We're here to be the salt of the earth and add sweetness to the world, to our world. Remember to pay attention to the revelation. Make sure you confess the word into your life, okay? Whatever it is that you want to see, make sure you speak it out. If you do not say it, nothing will happen. So you have to say it. I have here with me a very beautiful lady that will be talking to us about the Singles Fellowship. Hello, hey, good morning. Hi, thank you for coming. What's your name? Esther. Hi Esther, it's so good to see you today. So would you tell us what you have for us? Okay, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we, the Singles Fellowship of Daystar Christian Center, invite you for a Thanksgiving and blessed event. Okay. Coming up on Friday. On Saturday, 26th of December, that will be the last event for the year. Aww. So you don't want to miss it. You have friends that are single. You are single. Please come for our fellowship to be taking place um, at our next one here in this Dark Crescent Center. And in case you can't come in, we will be streaming the service online. Okay. So get the link from the church website or social media handle. Be part of it. We'll be praying together and believing God for 2023. Of course. We'll be thanking God. Lots of dance and refreshment also. Okay, you so don't what, want time, to miss what it. time does this happen? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. On the yeah. 26th? Yes. On the 26th of, of December, 4 p.m. November. Sorry, of November, <laughs> Annex 1. Yes, please. Annex 1, yeah. 26th of November, Annex 1, 4 p.m. So we will see them, right? Yeah. It promises to be fun and exciting. So come one, come all. If you're single, come with your friends, come with your family members, yeah. and it promises to be exciting. And that was such an amazing time of worship and praise. Let us say a word of prayer. Before we go back inside, 
to celebrate God's goodness over our lives at Day Star Christian Center. Dear Heavenly Father, we have come to say thank you for such an amazing time. Thank you for 27 years of your goodness and your faithfulness. We pray that even as we go in the 28th year, yeah. we pray that your promises will be revealed in our lives. We pray that your grace shall abide with us and by us in the name of Jesus. We pray that you would help us to fulfill our potentials. We pray that you would help us to discover who exactly you want us to be. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. My name is Bukomi Okeome. Signing out. God bless you. Have an amazing, amazing week. I wake up for a smile each day Positive for my mindset, don't oh know Put this smile on somebody's face In my own little way mm -hmm. And I go dead there for you, my brother No need to feel alone Go dead there for one another But this is journey where we take Just say I'll be here, I'll be here, I'll be here for you. And I go that day for you, my sister. You no need to shake. We go that day for one another. For this journey we did. I go there for you. You go there for me too. Yeah, I know. We are a family, always there for one another. Join us. D-Star, Raising Role Models.